Hello students, welcome to the CS classroom. Today we are going to discuss about the topic instruction format. Based on the number of uh, friends, we categorize instruction formats in various categories. Three address instruction, two address instruction, one address instruction, zero address instruction. Three address instruction. But the name itself will suggesting that uh, it will use three operand. Let's take an example. For example, evaluate this expression x equals to a plus b multiply by c plus d. So here we have to add this part and then add this part and then we have to multiply both of them. So first of all, we are going to perform an addition operation operands which we are going to use are R1, A and B. So whatever is stored in the memory A and memory of B will be added and then the result will be stored in register R1. Another addition operation will add memory of C and memory of D and will be stored in the register R2. Now we will perform the multiplication. R1 and R2 will be multiplied and then stored in the memory of X. To address instruction format. With the same example, we are going to evaluate for X with the help of to address instruction format means we are going to use two operands only here. The first operation we are going to perform is move. We will move memory of A to the register R1. Then we will perform addition operation between R1 and memory of B. Then we will perform move operation again for C and addition operation for D. Now R1 stores this one and R2 stores this value. So we just have to multiply R1 and R2. So multiplication operation will be performed and the result will be stored in R1. Then we will perform the move operation once again to store the value of R1 into memory of one address instruction format. Now we are going to use only one operand here. So to do so, we are going to use accumulator, which is a temporary register. Operation load will be performed to load A to accumulator. Memory of A will be loaded to accumulator and the addition operation will be performed between accumulator and memory of B. Then we store the result in T. Memory of T will store the value of accumulator. Now we will load C to the accumulator and then perform addition operation. Here accumulator is added to memory of D and the result will be stored in accumulator. Now we just have to multiply and the result will be stored in accumulator. Accumulator multiplied with memory of T and the result is stored in accumulator. Now store operation will be performed to store the value of accumulator into memory of X. And the last one is zero address instruction format. Here we are going to use stack. First we push A and store it top of the stack. TOS means top of the stack. Here A will be stored. Then push B. Here B will be stored. Now we will perform an operation add which will add these two operands. And A plus B will be stored at the top of the stack. Same similar operation will be performed for C plus D 
and they will be stored at the top of the stack. Now we just have to perform a multiplication operation and which will multiply these two expressions and will give this expression. Now the pop operation will be performed to store the result to memory of x.